I'm Greg Zanis, the inventor of DreamCar123.com, and I'd like to talk to you a few minutes about our space crane. To, with today's new technologies using spider webs, they have much, much stronger cables than the old standard steel type of cables. And another beautiful thing about the new cables are they're so much, much lighter and able to haul as much and or more. Steel cables, if you were to look at our painting here, if we were to run a steel cable from our satellite to Earth here, the weight of the cable would be more than the 30 tons that the individual wedge is going to weigh, making it next to impossible to haul its own weight. And also a steel cable weighing 30 tons and 30 tons of material wouldn't be able to handle the stress with today's new spider web technology being used in the new bungee type cables it offers us also a flexible cable and what we want to do is we want to build our pyramid buildings in outer space but we want to build them starting at the top and slowly working our way down this is very inverted because we're actually adding on to the bottom. We're so very used to building buildings that would be on the ground. And of course, anything on the ground, you would start on the bottom and work your way up to the top. We want to do the opposite. So what we want to do is start pulling wedges out into outer space using the new cable and then slowly getting it to break out of the Earth's gravity. You can see right here is the very first stop where it's actually pulled out of the Earth's gravity, the black showing the heavy gravitational pull. And on this spot here, we're just about out of Earth's gravity. And here we're totally out of Earth's gravity. With a smaller cable, you can notice that this distance has gotten shorter and this distance has gotten shorter until we pulled it all the way in. You can also go to our new web page where we have this painting up right now as we do several of the other smaller paintings that are up. And you can zoom in on high res and you can come in and see the details of this. And what we want to do is start building these buildings in outer space. If, you're, if you watch our videos and subscribe, you're going to see where pretty soon we're going to be talking about what each of the wedges do. A lot of the wedges, you grow plants in them. We're hoping to grow four crops a year. And a lot of the corner units, we're going to have for types of livestock, with sheep and goats and cows and pigs and, and turkeys and, and whatever it takes to sustain life. We're hoping to build a community that's totally self-contained, that recycles its own water. And once we get several of these built, we're hoping to be able to send these off out into deeper space. What's not shown in this painting, of course, that you'll see in some of the paintings that were posted, is where light will come off of the pyramids that are on Earth and beam up to the bottoms of these pyramids Light is the only thing we're not taking with us, but we're going to reflect it. So when these go to Mars and or hopefully leave to another solar system, and this could take years to get to another solar system, say we aim for the Big Dipper, it could take 20 years or it could take 300 years, but with a huge building, with everything in it, this type of travel is possible. And I'm Greg Zanis. And please try to subscribe to some of our up-and-coming videos. Thank you.